Okay guys, here we have a PlayStation 1 console which seems to have a damaged spindle. See there, like the, if we compare it to what it should be. So I'm going to replace this with a spindle motor from another console. And hopefully that will fix the problem because the laser seems to track when I turn it on and everything. So hopefully it is just this motor. Taking apart the PlayStation 1 is super easy. You've got the six screws on the bottom. They just come out. Once you're done taking out, the lid just lifts straight off. Once you've lid off a PlayStation 1, this laser isn't actually held down with anything. It's just sitting on these little rubber feet. So just disconnect that ribbon, just pull straight out. And this cable. So basically you should remove the spindle, first you want to remove these two screws off this little shroud. And then it's just held on my little clips here, here and here. There's not one here. This version doesn't have one there. The next thing you have to do is desolder desolder these two little pads which connect the light, connect the spindle not sure if I can do this around it After desoldering that, just pull the laser back out of the way. The next step is when you turn the spindle, you can see it turns here to a screw here and a screw here. And after you undo them, it'll be able to slide out.
get the screws being this small. And the next part is just to solder these wires back on. Sorry guys, I couldn't get that fine soldering on around the camera, but it was just the two connections from earlier. The next step then is to put back on the little cover. Just don't forget to put this laser back, or the, the ribbon for the laser back before you put it on. The next step for me is popping on this new center spindle. Now you might have to do that depending on how you got your new spindle more. When putting this on, you don't want to push it down too far or it won't work. And you also want to try and push it down from the middle. Because if you push it at the edge, it's kind of a brittle plastic. There you go, this, this little, that would be hard to see, this little nub should just be behind, you don't want to go too far down and start running into problems. The next step then is to just pop it back in the console. See this one spins freely where the old one wouldn't. Okay guys, here we are with a disc on the PlayStation and just plugged in. Be very careful if you're doing this because this is now live and will shock you. See now the disc is spinning up. Before this disc, the PlayStation will attempt to spin a, spin a disc and will completely stop. So this seems like it's after working great. Thanks for watching the video guys.